My name is Alma Obama, Dr. Alma Obama, and I'm the director founder of the Alma Obama Foundation, Sautiku, and Sautiku means powerful voices in Kiswahili. I studied in Germany before I started my foundation. I lived in England and worked for the Children's Services. From there, I moved back to Kenya, worked for an international organization, after which I then decided I wanted to work in the humanitarian sector, but I wanted to do a model that would actually be sustainable and would teach people to help themselves and not be dependent on handouts and not believe they're poor and need rescuing and think that they're victims. So that's what my foundation does, is really to teach the people we work with, the community we work with, in particular the children and young people, that they're not victims, that they can take care of themselves if they look at what local resources are available and that they actually can take their own destinies. There's no excuse, not even poverty. I started off with 12 young people under a tree at the local school and funding it with my own money. And eventually, I started getting donors who were interested in what I was doing, interested in funding me, and I learned to network. And also it helped that I have my name, my surname, because people were curious about me and it opened doors of opportunity. And every time I got through that door, I talked about my work and I used it in order to get them on board to support me in the work I do. You have to be creative, be a critical thinker. You have to not be afraid to think big, be a big dreamer. Think beyond what people expect of you. See no limitations, be focused, be committed to what you do, you know. Have compassion, have humility because you don't do it alone. You always have people who support you and help you get where you're going. And really believe in what you're doing. Have the confidence to say, I can do this when people, other people are saying, no, you can't. There's no cannot in the vocabulary of somebody who is a, a game changer. There's no impossible in the vocabulary of a game changer. You know, you, you have humility because you know you have weaknesses, you can fail, but always pick yourself up. So those are very important traits. You can just be blessed by the fact that you're driven and you have a certain awareness and a consciousness for what is the right thing to do or what you love to do. That already is a lot because many people don't know what to do. And if you know what to do, go ahead and do it. Everybody can be a game changer. Everybody, everybody has the potential.